Hi, welcome to the first video of 2023. Holy shit, am I excited, dude. I am gonna bring you guys a lot of cool content this year, hopefully. But for today, in this video, we're gonna change things up a bit. So you know in my last video, we did landscape photography. It was nice, it was good, it was fun, it was relaxing, I enjoyed myself. But this time, I fancied myself something a little different. I wanted to try one of my other favorite aspects of photography, and that is street photography. So today, we're gonna go around my local town and do some street photography, but with a bit of a twist. So, as we're recording this video, it is about uh, 5.15, which gives me little to no time to uh, do any daytime street photography. The reason why I'm saying daytime street photography is because this video is not just about doing street photography. No, 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 no. The twist is we're gonna do daytime photography versus to nighttime street photography. Oh my God, that was a sick ass intro. Let's do it guys. So if I'm gonna be completely and totally honest with you, I have no plan for this video. As I do with most of my videos, I have no plan. I have a few locations in mind that I wanna go to that I would think would make interesting shots for both day and night street photography. But yeah, I really have no plan. I've just been riding around my skateboard this whole entire day and I've just been shooting cinematics this whole entire time. But right now, we are walking to the first location and this is, uh, for those of you who know me, this is where um, I shot my uh, short film. And it's located behind the Walgreens. Yeah, I know, what a weird location for street photography. But trust me, I like how this place looks. In the back, it just looks, I, I don't know, it gives off a certain vibe to me, so, and I, and I like to shoot it. We are behind a, a Walgreens. Oh my God, where, where has my photography have taken me? I'm behind a Walgreens, which I gotta go and get some snacks, because I am famished. I got the munchies. So as I was, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear the construction, but as I was setting up my shot back here, as I was setting up my shot, there was this guy over there in front of me who needed help pushing something onto his truck. I think it was like an old uh, washing machine, but it was heavy. And so we, uh, we got onto his truck and he left and the truck went and the frame just opened up. The scene just opened up and it looks so good right now. It's going for the vibe that I want to, which we have um, my Fuji. XT200 right here shooting on Pro Neg High which is a really great light in the Fujifilm camera system. I am never ever going to stop saying that but I'm going to go ahead and get the shot right now and I'm going to show you on screen what it looks like.
So we got the shot. I'm just finishing up. I'm going to go back to my stuff. And um, I got to say, the sun is a bit harsher today. But that's kind of what I was hoping for. So I'm not complaining right now. So I'm about to wrap up right here. And I'm going to go to Walgreens and see what I can find, man. Because I am hungry right now. So I just got the food from Walgreens. Got the munchies. So I have the essentials. Gatorade. That, 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 that just has to like, come on, man. Boy. Also got the protein because you can't forget that. And one measly little cheese stick. It ain't much, but it's enough for the photographer. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and roll some skate, skating clips or something. second location right here which is literally a parking lot yeah I don't know how else I'm gonna film this and other than my phone because I'm um, there's people here and I you know I'm kind of terrified to film in front of people man. I'm not gonna lie but um I'm gonna see if I can set up a composition I'm gonna film it but um man I wanted to get um this parking lot hold on hold on hold on there's a parking lot uh over there somewhere it's a it looks abandoned I want to get some shots of that but right now the sun has set a little too far down so i'm gonna wait till maybe next time out in the day so i can go shoot it but um i'm gonna grab this quick shot right here and i'm gonna show you it So today is day two of day street photography versus night street photography. And I did say in the last clip, or probably the last few seconds, that um, this parking lot right here was a bit, uh, didn't have enough light for me to shoot last time, and now I came back, and it's like, oh my god, it's been like, I think two weeks since you saw day one, because god, I've just been working, and I haven't had time, and today was perfect. I was going to do something else completely, but then like the weather conditions was just right and I was like, you know what, let's go film part two. So we're over here in this parking lot that I've always wanted to shoot, uh, shoot photography and I think it would make a great subject. And I, I just think like this uh, parking lot itself, it just has a lot of character to it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures and uh, I guess I'll show you. <laughs>
here at Town Center, one of the main uh, subjects I want to shoot in this video. And um, it's the center of my town. It has a bunch of restaurants, has a nice little park, rest area, rec area, and hopefully a lot of good potential shots. Now, I, uh, <laughs> I did get into a skating accident. I did eat shit. I got uh, bruises right here and right here. But you know what? That's fine. It fucking happens. But, um, oh, fuck. Actually, I'm going to sit down. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little break. Just, just, just a little. You know, I'm not going to stop the photography here. But um, this will be my last day street photography location for today. And then we'll uh, switch on over tonight. And yeah. But first, let's see how these pictures come out. Hey, Carlos, show them real quick. So I'm sitting down right here at this bench in the rest area. I didn't get as many pictures as I thought I would in town center, but you know what? That's fine. It happens. But um, you know what? This whole experience doing street photography, because I've been mainly doing landscape photography for quite a bit. It's so hard to record when there's people around. Like there is people around me right now, and I am like hesitant to like speak up. Or, like, I look crazy. I'm talking to a camera. I'm talking to a camera lens, dude. Like, people are, like, looking at me, but you know what? It's fine. I have enjoyed this uh, type of photography. I haven't done a lot of street photography. So it's a nice, you know, uh, change of pace for things because I've been mainly doing landscape photography. And landscape photography is calm, is relaxing. Street photography, you're going at it. You're walking around. You're, like, looking for the, the compositions, the shots, you know, but... It's all been good fun. Um, I'm just gonna chill right here on this bench with my gear all up in the glory of the sun on the bench. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and wait till night and I will see you probably in a couple of seconds. <laughs> so yeah, till nighttime comes. <laughs> So it is now finally nighttime. Holy shit. Okay, so my camera ran out of battery. So I had to skate home and uh, recharge it real quick. I Ubered my ass back here. Ain't no way I was fucking gonna skate back here. Especially because it's like 51 degrees, dude. No. It is way too cold. I even debated not even coming back because, because I was like, it's too cold, man. But you know what? I gotta do it for the vid. I gotta get out of that comfort zone, you know? So, same as usual, we are going to take pictures, this time in nighttime, and I'm hoping you see the difference between the daytime pictures and the nighttime pictures because there's going to be a drastic difference, and it's on the lighting. So, yeah, let's see what kind of pictures we get. But first, roll some cinematics. Let's go. for the first time the moment Cineblue filter 
this thing, oh my god, I've been waiting for this thing to ship to my place for so long, and I finally have it. 10% uh, diffusion, oh my god, the, hal the halations on this is gonna be wild, I'm telling you. But I got my shot right here. As you can see, the camera is already set up. It's got to put the filter on, and we're good to shoot. This place is a lot better at night. A lot better at night. Um, I've gotten a lot of cool shots lately. A lot of great, great nighttime photography shots. A, a lot more than I was actually expecting. Um, and I, it even got me thinking of making more uh, street photography videos because, I mean, nighttime street photography videos. Because I've seen these videos, I've been watching these videos on YouTube where uh, these guys, they shot about a GoPro to their chest and they just walk around town and they just uh, take pictures. Uh, I, I've been thinking about that video style and I, I'm, I'm going to try it out, but I want to try it in downtown Houston because I would get a lot of cool shots in downtown Houston. But yeah, I'm here at the parking lot and we're going to go ahead and take some more pictures. <laughs>
back in town center. It is empty. I am literally walking in the middle of the road because I'm a jackass, but oh, this is what I like. I like empty streets. I like empty parking lots. It just makes everything have a certain vibe to it, you know? But uh, I'm back. I'm gonna cut the video here short. I saw a lot more good compositions, but if I'm being frank, I'm too hungry. And I haven't eaten all day but one meal. So I'm gonna get out this car. No, he's not coming, but uh, no, okay. It's been fun doing nighttime photography versus daytime photography. It's been really interesting. I'm gonna sit right here and do the outro. But uh, it's been a good video. I've been having a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoy it too. Um, I'm gonna at least try to get a video once a month, maybe two a month, I'm not sure, but just something to bring content, you know, because I actually like creating this. This, this is fun and I wanna do it more. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and uh, tell me which pictures you like more, daytime or nighttime. Personally, for me, I like nighttime. I had a lot more uh, fun doing it nighttime than I did daytime. Mainly because uh, when you're doing daytime street photography, the light isn't always what you want it to be, and sometimes the sun is a bit too harsh. Versus nighttime photography, there's such limited light, but that limitation gives you so much to work with. I feel like I do my best work under limits and pressure. So, it's been fun. It's been real fun. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, I already said that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.